I mean, getting in there with Wayne and jamming though at the same time. What was that like when you were on Cash Money and then also recording with Wayne, one of the ghosts? I as wanted well. to quit. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, dog. That's how good that <laughs> motherfucker was. You know what I mean? I'm not lying, bro. Like I grew up, you know. Again, like I said, you. I, I grew up in the '80s, man. I'm yeah. Like, Feel me? I'm a toddler in the 80s. I'm a kid in the 80s. I grew up in the 90s. Juvenile, you cash money records? Yeah. yeah. Juvenile big timers. Come on, man. That's 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 the pinnacle. It's 400 degrees. Facts. So I, I see Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was a little kid that was, you know, with them. You know, he's younger than me. So this yeah. little nigga that was with the juvie now. Exactly. And I'm in the studio and I remember walking in and mm. thinking to myself, like, I was a pretty decent rapper. I'm good. I'm all yeah. right. I'm, I might be a B minus. <laughs> You know what I mean? I might be I'm a game you. is an A. I'm yeah. a B minus. Yeah. yeah, I ain't bad. Exactly. Till I start going in the studio with that nigga. And then I realized I was on the verge of failing. <laughs> Hell no. This nigga's that good, bro. <laughs> I'm not lying. I ain't putting nothing on it. On 7th Street Crib, I ain't putting nothing on it. That's how good this motherfucker is. This motherfucker's incredible. Not only is he going to give you the best verses, he going to make a great hook. Yeah. And then he going to do it all fast. He gonna do ten songs, and seven of the ten is gonna be fantastic. And then they only gonna pick two of the, the seven. <laughs> like this is how good this mother, how disgustingly great he yeah. is at this. Yeah. And it made me. I had to re. This is all part of the reason why I started in 2011 to go through that because I had to make a choice. Yeah. This was either you know uh, fight or flight. <laughs> I was like fight back. <laughs> you know what I mean? This nigga. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> this nigga. I don't know if people get it. You know, shout out to everybody who understand it. I know you supposed to think you good. I'm sure the best yeah. niggas that rap think they rap. Come but if on. you don't look at this motherfucker and be like, oh, this little nigga different. Exactly. This little nigga Michael Jackson. Come on. This little nigga Jackson 5 with the hot boys. Come on. Then he come out with these old thrillers and the Carters and shit. It's a bad motherfucker. So I decided to fight and I, I had to get better and... I, you had to have a passion, because you can't be as good as Wayne and not have a passion for it. Facts. So I, as I started learning, things started happening. And, you know, people right now talk about how good I am, but it's like, yeah, you get your ass whooped by a master, you know, <laughs> sensei up in this exactly. motherfucker. And, you know, you in the studio, he like, me don't need smoke weed. Why are you writing your shit down? You be like, nigga, you do this shit out your mind? <laughs> you know what I mean? So cuz is just incredible, man. And, and. I mean, I know people half-ass give him his flowers, but mm -hmm. he's much better than everybody thinks he is. Much, much better. Where is that with Lil Wayne and Cameron, though, man? That banger, how did y'all put that thing together? Man, randomly, every New York legend was showing me love at a time when everybody at home was more, like, disconnected. <sighs> Private is not respected in his own hometown, man. 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 The streets love me, but the artists, I felt, and to their credit, I hadn't paid no dues. I was uh -huh. the genuine article of home. But as far as this this art go, yeah. I ain't paid no dues like that. Okay, then. So I respect them now. I get yeah. it now. But at that okay. time, you know, I was working my hardest. I was trying my best. Mm -hmm. And maybe somebody could have said, okay, Glasses, let me show you what you don't know. Instead of just letting you just walk <laughs> around in a dark room. <laughs> but it wasn't like that in New York, man. Cam was showing me love. Yeah. New York media was showing me love. Yeah. Rest in peace, K. Slay. Yes, sir. Everybody who did amazing things for me. And... Cam was one of them niggas I reached out to. He was like, yeah, I got you, little homie. It's mm. nothing. And somebody who I hold in such a high regard and just think is the greatest, and he just was cool to me. Yeah. And so, obviously, Tune heard Cam. He was like, oh, I'm getting on that. <laughs> you know, he <laughs> fucked with Cam. Yeah. So, you know, a song like that, I didn't even real. I didn't know nothing about music or enough about anything to really truly value it until now. Yeah. So now, it's funny Ooh. because I'm working on fuck. The release of Fuck Glasses, the re-release, because yeah. I never put it on streaming apps in a CD. Yeah, yeah. And a shout out to my man EP who produced the whole Cancel no These EP? album. Cancel These Nuts album. We kind of yeah. went back in and reimagined a couple songs. Yeah. And we was touching on that song. Mm. So then when it comes on streaming service, it'll be dope.